What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. This is the last exercise of our designing in fire protection system and it will gonna be quick uh, video. In this exercise, we're going to modify the diameter of the pipes so that the pipes are a better fit with the design specification. So because the pipe diameters depend on the number of sprinklers, so you also create a sprinkler schedule to report the number of level 2 sprinklers okay so what we are gonna do is let's style first our view so I'm gonna open the 3d view the 3d fire protection and then um, I'm gonna select tile views here so I can see the 3d view and then the floor plan view so maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this view and then put it here below horizontally there you go all right okay so there's my 3d view so how about here okay so let's do this so after tiling the views the next thing that we are going to do and by the way it is important to recognize the distinction between sizing and manually changing the diameter height or width changing the diameter width or height of pipe on the options bar is not considered sizing in revit okay so sizing is performed uh, using the sizing tool to size the pipe based on a series of parameters and calculations so the calculated size of a pipe is the result of the sizing tool and not the result of manual change of diameter width or height okay so just a clarification now what we are going to do is we're going to modify the diameter of the fire protection pipe run so the majority of the pipe segment service no more than two sprinklers and because the design specifications require a one inch diameter for pipes servicing two sprinklers, it's more efficient to specify one inch diameter for all pipe runs and then adjust the branches servicing more than two sprinklers separately. Okay, so in our uh, floor plan view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select from the upper left to the lower right of the buildings this one and then I'm gonna select here the filter so let me just change here check none I will select the pipe fittings and pipes okay and I'm gonna change that to I'll just select okay first and then I will change the diameter to uh, one inch okay so because that's the design so one inch okay so all selected piping is now one diameter so just to make sure I'm gonna show you I'm going to tag the model so from the annotate I select here tag by category and I'm going to click one of the pipe and then there's this no tag loaded dialog box so there is no tag that is loaded currently in the project so that's why i'm going to select here yes okay and then i'm going to select the tag pipe size tag and then i just select here open okay and then i'm going to pick so as you can see it's now one inch diameter so now what i'm going to do is instead of selecting it one by one so I'm going to go to annotate again, look for tag all. So I select tag all and then I'm going to select here pipe tags. So that's the loaded tag. So I'm going to check that one and then I'm going to select here OK to tag all the pipes all at once. Okay. There you go. Okay, so it looks funny because it doubles up some of the uh, diameter pipe uh, pipe tags so I'm just gonna undo that so maybe I'll just select 
tagged by categories. I'll just pick it one by one. Okay. Much cleaner. Okay, so I'll just pick that. So just to make sure that all of that is one inch. Okay. So that's it. So, so that's how you modify the pipe diameter. Okay, here, here, here. This one, this one, this one here. This one, this one, and then this one here. There I go. Oops, here as well. Okay, there you go. So it's all one inch and then here in our supply, it's two inches. Okay, and take note that tags are view specific. Okay, so what does that mean? So they display only in the view in which they were placed. So you will not be able to see these tags in other views. Okay, so it's a view specific. Just take note of that. So I'm going to open the 3D view here. And maybe I'm going to maximize that. Okay, and then I will select the link model. Right click, I'm going to hide that elements. Okay, and then I'm going to select the pipe here. I'm going to change this as well. So I will select this pipe. And then I'm going to hover my pointer here. And then I will press tab to highlight the connections so press tab there you go and then okay sorry so tab hover pointer and then tap and then click there you have it okay so it's now selected and i'm gonna change that to let's say i want that to be four inches so the diameter of the fire protection main uh, main piping now changes to 4 inches. Okay, there you go. So it's now 4 inches. And then let's modify the branch pipes. So the branch pipes here. So this uh, pipe that we have here is 1 inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. Hold control. Click. Click. And then instead of 1 inch... I'm going to change that to maybe 1 and 1 fourth inch. So I will select that. <clears throat> and there you have it. So it's now 1 and 1 fourth inch. Okay. So that's it. So if we go back again to our level 2 fire protection plan. So it's now updated. Okay, so basically in this exercise, we use various selection methods to modify the level 2 fire protection pipe branch diameters. And we added tags to the pipes, allowing you to immediately verify the pipe diameters. The pipe run now complies with the design criteria. So you learn how to manually change the diameter of a pipe. Now, um, if you want to have an additional practice so you can use the method that we have learned and create the level one fire protection wet system okay if you don't have the exercise file this one so just just comment in this video and then i will gonna give you the exercise file okay so in this tutorial you created a wet fire protection system and you also learn the difference between uh, creating rigid physical pipe connections and creating logical systems. And the difference between how the software sizes pipe and how to manually modify pipe diameter. Okay? So that's it for this video. And I hope you learned something from this video. And by the way, this is the first video that I created using Revit 2022. From now on, I will be using Revit 2022, okay, starting to this video, okay? So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.